Hi everyone, this is S. Benenta, back with another video. I think everyone remembers the famous scene from Spider-Man No Way Home, where all three spiders land on the head of the Statue of Liberty before the final battle with the villains. Well, it's no secret that the whole scene with them flying and landing was done using computer graphics, also called CGI or VFX. However, the original plan was to make a real shot of this scene, with stunt doubles. And we have some shots to prove it. Here they take turns jumping out and landing in specially marked places. They are also dressed in their Spider-Man suits, with the blue screen background and the statue head decoration. Everything is just as it should be. So this was the original version of the scene, and not its modeling for computer processing. As a result, the creators decided to cut off the live-action shot. So they modeled everything on a computer, and we got what we got. What can I say? It's pretty good. But if the stunt doubles landed in much the same way as in the movie, then I think it would be better. Also, in the scene where Andrew Garfield Spider-Man and MJ landing after he saves her, we are also shown a computer version. And to be honest, I don't like this version at all because the graphics are very implausible. Also, this scene was filmed with Andrew Garfield, who had a puppet instead of MJ. In addition, stunt doubles were also involved to shot this scene. I think you know William Spencer. But it was decided to make the landing computer-generated. And that's not surprising, since graphics increasingly exclude live action. At least in such movies. And I'm all for it if the graphics are really better than the live action. So that was another behind-the-scenes adventure of Spider-Man No Way Home. Well, that's all. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!